Hey guys, welcome to the November 2019 budget review. Um, first thing we're going to check out here is my credit score because it did go up just a little bit. I think it went up one point this month. And as you can see here, my credit usage is the thing that's affecting it the most. Um, when I get my credit cards paid off, I should at least be at a 700 for credit. And um, then this... Uh, most of these are years past, so I'm just waiting for them to fall off because it takes seven years. Uh, and then the derogatory marks, um, I am actually not sure what that is because I don't have any co collections accounts on here. I'd have to look more into that when I pull the full report. But just wanted to show you guys that that had gone up another point. All right, you can see here I did pretty well as far as income this month. Uh, the first thing is AdSense. Uh, I'm not sure what happened here because I used Google's estimate and usually, well, always until this point, they've just been usually a couple dollars under what it actually is. And it's like a couple dollars under where what it actually is this month. So I put 108 expecting I'd get 110 and I actually got 106. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And then this is a three paycheck month. I was paid on the 1st, the 15th, and whatever yesterday was, the 29th. So um, that's why this is more than usual. Uh, although it was a little less than I anticipated, I think uh, a little more was taken out in taxes. Uh, this doesn't really include any overtime other than like an hour or two where I just run over on a normal day. Um, I can tell you, and who knows? Because every time I announce this, uh, you know, it um, it changes the next day. But as of right now, as far as I know, there is unlimited overtime again. So I am going to really try to take advantage of that, at least for this week. And they keep saying they think it's going to be throughout the rest of the year. So hopefully so. Uh, realistically, I probably can't do more than like five hours a week, but I'll get in what I can. And then with my other income here, um, interest income is from my savings accounts. And then the other income, most of this is from TaskRabbit, but there is also income on here, and you'll see it when we get over to uh, trends and look at income by merchant. But some of it is also from Teespring. That's a drop shipping company for t-shirts and other merch. And I had made some test stuff like a year ago and I didn't realize that somebody had actually bought it. So uh, I just happened to notice and uh, cash that out. So um, I ended up getting a few dollars from that. Uh, car insurance and the car payment were right on. I was able to make the car payment a few days early. So it put a little extra toward principal. And I do recognize that my camera looks like it keeps glitching so i apologize if you guys see that on your end uh, i did go over in gas but i actually kind of think this is good in a way because i ended up going home to visit my mom and i hadn't expected to do that when i set the budget so the fact that i only went over seven dollars is kind of amazing uh, i spent about 21 22 dollars filling up the car before i left and then I think I got $5 in gas twice on the way back just to make it back to Columbus. So, um, you know, we're, we're looking at, I actually undershot this by at least $30 um, had I not gone home. Uh, and electric and internet are right on. Uh, my phone was a little bit less this month for some reason. And the gas, they are charging me $44. I think it's still because... I have a credit from paying over the summer and uh, my loans right on. Now you'll notice something here. Well, let's look at all three of these. So I went over in fast food. I was $21 over there and I'm $26 over in restaurants. Um, and there's a couple things that were going on here. Um, first of all, I traveled home for Thanksgiving and uh, that necessitated me eating out a few times. Uh, I really did try to eat cheap, but I am surprised how expensive fast food is sometimes. 
Like I literally just went to Burger King and got like their special, like their meal. And it was over $10. So it's hard not to go over a budget like that. Um, but again, at the beginning of the month, I didn't realize I was going to have those extra expenses. Um, I think that's part of it. Of course, we've got the normal thing of me running late in the morning and grabbing Donald's sometimes um, that contributed to it. And then with restaurants, uh, now on top of this, I did also get Chipotle uh, today or yesterday. Um, and that was free. I've got that app where you build up points. Um, so that helped. Um, it would have been about $8 more here. Um, but um, this went over sort of for the same reason with the Thanksgiving thing. Essentially, I got home and literally nothing was open. Like my mom for Thanksgiving dinner ended up eating just the food they had at the nursing home. And I ended up eating about $3 in a gas station brand McRib and a slice of pizza because that was literally the only thing open in the entire county, except for Bob Evans. And Bob Evans was at a minimum $17 a plate. So at least I hope you guys can be proud of me that I did not buy myself, my mom, $17 plates and instead ate at the gas station. Um, and then look at groceries. I mean, when I went through and made sure everything was right before making this video, I was like, wow. Um, but I double checked and I didn't miss anything. Now, obviously, I mean, I went over here. So some of that contributed to not spending as much in groceries, but definitely doesn't account for all of it. Um, the other thing is I have been meal prepping and I've stuck with it for most days, but I've been meal prepping using a crock pot. Um, essentially I've been making beef stew. I figured out how to make that. And, um, I'm not sick of it yet. So I still make that every week for uh, my meals or at least my lunches. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's healthier. I'm not even sure it's cheaper, but in the end, um, you know, my grocery budget is a lot lower. So, uh, I'm just going to stick with that. And if I can keep this up for a couple months, maybe I can lower my grocery budget down to 200. And, um, with gifts, I hadn't planned on giving anything. Usually if I do give something, it's for the fraternity. Um, but essentially what happened is my team at work, um, the girl that sits across from me, um, she, uh, is going through a transition and, uh, officially got her name changed to, um, the name that she uses. So, um, just as like a, congratulatory thing. The team got together, everybody pitched in $5 and, um, we got her a card and a, a gift card. So that was my contribution to that. Um, did not go to the doctor. Uh, I have this on here cause I had decided I was going to go back to counseling, um, at least once or twice. And, um, my counselor actually contacted me and she is moving to a new office. So the $40 is expecting, that that's what my copay will be, but with her starting her own practice and she may or may not be taking my insurance. Um, yeah, I mean, I can pretty much just take this off next month's budget for now because I got to wait till I hear back from her about that. Because if it's a hundred dollars or more a session again, I'm not doing that. It's right on as is renter's insurance storage is right on as well. Um, good thing about storage is I was able to go there a few days ago and like, there's not a whole lot of stuff in there, mostly furniture, but it, that takes up a lot of space. So I'm hoping that within like the next year, I'll actually be able to get all of that stuff moved out of there and I don't have to pay for this anymore. Um, it actually makes me feel better to look at it cause it's not as much stuff as I seem to remember it being. Now with business expenses, um, I have been saying for months, I'm going to have somebody design something and I hopefully, hopefully I'm going to have it done this month or in December, but, um, that is not what this is. I budgeted $15 for that. Didn't get to it. The $8 is I've been doing some gigs on TaskRabbit, and 
I've had to pay for parking a couple times while I was doing that. One time was $5, one time was $3. So those are the business expenses there. Uh, and I did buy a t-shirt. Um, now you might think like, well, $19 is a lot for a t-shirt. And it is, you're right. Um, but essentially what it was is um, I have started designing some merch and I ordered this as a sample. Um, just to see like what the process was for ordering it and what the quality was like. So it, it's showing as the clothing on here because it is clothing and I'm going to wear it. Um, but I use QuickBooks self-employed um, for my uh, expenses, like business expenses, and it's written off as business expense there. Um, and then stuff for mom. So... A few things going on here. Uh, primarily, this category is on here for her storage. But I bought her a Coke at the gas station, so that is part of what's in here. I took it to her when I visited. And also, um, I paid 65 for her storage. Now, I'm, there's this weird thing going on between her and her lawyer and the people at the storage unit place that I'm now caught in the middle of. They say we're a month behind. The attorney's like, no, I paid for everything, but he won't like actually get any proof of that. My mom's going about the process to get the proof of it so I can argue it. But essentially, the reason that it's set at 75 is because um, that it would be including a late fee. But I'm not paying the late fees, and they haven't said anything to me about it. And on everything else here, um, service and parts right around the beginning of the month, um, my tire looked flat. It was like right when it got cold. So I just went and I filled the tires up. Uh, I think they just kind of do that when the seasons change. And here's the thing that just royally screwed me over this month, $102 in bank fees. So these are three overdraft fees. And it makes me mad because like my bank you have to specifically sign up for overdraft protection, right? And I don't want that. If it's not going to go through, just decline it. But in the fine print, it says that at their discretion, they'll approve it, even if you've told them not to, and they'll charge you the fee. So, of course, they're going to do that because they want to charge you the fee. I have contacted them, tried to argue it, and they won't remove the fees. But essentially what happened was this. Um, I knew I was cutting it close on money, but I had a TaskRabbit gig, and because that TaskRabbit gig was supposed to pay me out the next day, then I had the money in my account to make the purchases that I made. I didn't get any kind of notification, but I checked a few days later, and the client on TaskRabbit, their credit card was declined, which meant I didn't get paid, which meant I didn't have enough money to cover what I made. And then because that was then made my account go under plus the overdraft fee, the first one that was put on there. Then, like when I got paid on the 21st from YouTube, I didn't see any of that money because it all went to reimbursing the bank. And I was planning on using that money in order to pay to go visit mom. Now, fortunately, I ended up lucking out and I had enough rewards points to pay for the hotel room. Um, that I had planned to pay for using the money I was getting from YouTube. So in the end, it kind of all worked out, but it really sucks that it was $102 short. Um, so at least for this paycheck, um, until I get paid again on the 15th of December, uh, things are going to be pretty tight. Um, the finance charge here, that's the interest that's charged um, together on the two credit cards. And then the service fees of a dollar, um, that's for the two money orders, um, one each to pay each storage. Now, this food and dining here, the reason this is on here like this and not um, under like food or like, yeah, or under like a specific category is because this is actually my food I bought at the gas station for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it's hot food, but I bought it at a gas station, so it's not restaurant or fast food and it's not a snack so I didn't know how to put it on there uh, coffee shops I did walk down and um, get Tim Hortons one day um, and then with my snacks these are at $30 which 
truthfully, I mean, it's still pretty low compared to what it used to be, but is more than it has been lately. Um, I think the big problem with that is like, I, so I stopped drinking pop. Well, not completely, but I stopped having any of it in the house and pretty much only get it if I do eat out and it's at a restaurant. But occasionally I have stopped at a gas station and got like, you know, the big fountain drinks. Um, so that's contributed to that going up a little more. And it's just a constant self-discipline thing I have to work on. Um, and then with the pharmacy here, I had, I was sick, um, this month. I took a vacation a week off. Um, and it was the first vacation I've taken since 2013. Uh, and of course I was sick the entire time. So it started out as a really bad headache and I was at work when it started, had to walk to CVS and get, uh, Tylenol. And fortunately I had a $2 off coupon and then they had like a $2 off sale. So I ended up getting the bottle for like, I think it was a dollar 10 after tax. And then with home supplies, um, I am not 100% certain what all of this is, but like at least $10 of that amount is fabric softener. I was completely out. I did get my haircut, so that's like 35 for the haircut plus five tip. Um, and then shopping, this eight dollars here, that really should be categorized as home supplies um, because that's a box of Q-tips and trash bags. All right, now as far as income this month, I did forget to put one thing in here. My mom sent me a Thanksgiving card and she put five dollars in it, so I've not deposited that yet because. I just haven't been by my bank to do that. Um, so these numbers are a little bit off, but essentially 95% from my main job. And then this is AdSense, so 3% there. Um, and then 2% from other sources, which is made up of TaskRabbit. Um, I did actually do a task yesterday, so um, that'll be paid out tomorrow. And then uh, Teespring, that was the $5.70 profit I made from a t-shirt from like June of last year. And uh, $2.87 in interest on all of my savings accounts combined. Okay, so on the net worth here, you can see here it's spiked up a bit. And you can also see here that the debt has decreased quite a bit too. Uh, if you want to just dive into the numbers here. So just at first glance, um, you'll see that my assets are up and my debts are down. So as you can see here, my assets increased about $300 during the month. And my debts went down quite a bit. Um, the debts actually went down... $351.80, and and I think that's the biggest jump I've had as far as get debt going down. Um, now, as you know, my checking account and what Mint says usually is a couple days delayed, so my checking account actually has $34.14 less in it than what is being calculated here, and my IRA, which doesn't show up in Mint, has $2,846.19 in it. Um, so subtracting, well, yeah, factoring out the $34 from checking, adding in the $2,800 uh, from my uh, IRA, that puts my new net worth as of the end of November 2019 at $171,185.13. That is an increase of $668.85 since last month. I think that that is probably the highest increase that I've had. So pretty happy with that. Um, just as means of a channel update, um, before you see this video, you should see my video uh, about my tips um, and hacks at Target. This will be going up early in the month. Of course, we'll have our budget with me for 
December 2019. I'm going to have one more what I call content video that will go up through the month. And then either at the very end of the year or maybe very early in January, um, I'm going to have an end of the year review. So we'll go ahead and do a review at the end of December just like this, but there will also be a year-end review where um, it's going to go way more in-depth than what this is, and it's going to compare where I was in January with where I was in uh, the end of, where I will be in the end of December, and it's going to go uh, basically breaking down each account as far as the loans go um, and showing how much I've been able to decrease those in the year, how much I've been able to increase my assets, how much I've been able to save. Uh, so I'm going to go into a lot of detail about that. And then around that same time will also be a video uh, recapping my financial goals for the year and how I ended up. So make sure you stick around for that.